We begin with what some are calling a troubling trend that's developed within the Bear County District Attorney's Office. Felony cases, some of them high profile, like the Andre McDonald case, facing issues when it comes to how evidence is handled. Yeah, and that is not the only case in question. The murder of a beloved HEB employee, another instance where issues arose. In this Defenders report, the night team's Dylan Collier attempts to get to the root of the problem. <laughs> In late October, more than two years after he was charged with his wife's disappearance and death, Andre McDonald sat in a Bear County courtroom in yet another effort to get his bond reduced. Your Honor, uh, first of all, I think Prosecutors in the case acknowledged they had just recently been made aware of an entire share drive of additional evidence handed over by the Bear County Sheriff's Office, described as up to 100,000 items that needed to be reviewed. The visiting judge, Raymond Angelini, did not appear pleased. But you have an obligation under 3914 to turn over everything or you can't be ready. After the state blamed a litany of problems, including COVID within their staff and the lead detective going on leave with a serious medical issue, McDonald's bond was cut down by hundreds of thousands of dollars. He was released from jail on bond a few weeks later. His defense attorney, John Convery, summed up the current status of the case. You heard kind of the finger pointing back and forth between the sheriff and the district attorney's office. It's really a mess. And it's happened elsewhere. Just last month, a mistrial was declared in the capital murder case of R.C. Curtis. Even though Curtis is accused of killing a relative more than six years ago, the prosecution and defense learned of additional DVDs of evidence gathered by police only after the trial was underway. Like McDonald, Curtis was released from custody following a bond reduction. Criminal defense attorney Stephen Gilmore was recently able to get two felony charges against one of his clients dismissed. Neither case on paper looked very good for the defense. And while some would celebrate and move on, Gilmore instead is sounding the alarm, pointing out that both cases had video evidence issues, including an evading arrest allegation with no dashboard camera footage. San Antonio police concede the video wasn't appropriately tagged by officers or downloaded by prosecutors before it was purged. On an evading case where the whole thing is a traffic incident, I need to see what happened. Thank you so much. All right, go. District Attorney Joe Gonzalez, who this month filed for re-election, was not made available for an interview for this story. In a statement, his office told us there is a tremendous and increasing volume of video evidence submitted by law enforcement to our office every year. Occasionally, technology or process issues between law enforcement agencies and our office prevent video evidence from being filed with a case. The DA's office and law enforcement agencies take this seriously and are working together to address the issue. Gonzalez's office, as of late last month, was still reviewing for the second time the 2019 case of an SAPD sergeant who shot and killed a woman while carrying a replica Uzi BB gun after a brief clip of body camera footage surfaced. While the DA claimed publicly that his office wasn't provided a copy of the 18 second clip, SAPD sources say that doesn't tell the whole story and that prosecutors had access to it shortly after the shooting took place. Lapses in communication, Gilmore says, must be fixed. But the idea that we, got, we just got too many cases, you gotta cut us a break, that's, that's nonsense. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. The Bear County Sheriff's Office officials did not respond to repeated requests about what happened with the McDonald case evidence. A new state law that went into effect earlier this year could actually help in the long run. Senate Bill 111 requires law enforcement officers to certify in writing that they have handed over all evidence in possession of their agency.